high school sports scene, and we're going to bring in uh, the new Atlantic City High School girls basketball coach, Jason Lance. Jason, how are you this morning? Thanks for joining us. Well, how are you? Hey, how's it going, man? You, you awake? You, you up early watching some tape or what? Quite. I'm actually <laughs> uh, doing some stuff for uh, summer basketball. Oh, nice. Nice. Uh, so, so tell us about your uh, your journey here in the last month or so. Uh, you got named as the new head coach for the girls' basketball program over there at Atlantic City. Uh, your longtime boys assistant coach. Uh, what made you want to make the jump over to girls and, and become a head coach? Uh, actually, it's, it's an exciting challenge. Um, I've been following uh, a lot of the young ladies that are on the team for years, and um, I've had an opportunity to work with them, some of them in uh, training. And the opportunity came up, and I jumped on it. Um, what, what, you know, working with Gene Allen over there at Atlantic City, what have you learned from him in terms of, um, not just the X and O's of basketball, but, but how to run a program, uh, how to really be a leader for, for these young men and women over there at Atlantic City High School? What, what did you take away from, uh, working for so long under coach Gene Allen? You know, a lot of people, uh, underestimate how much work and time coach Allen puts in, um, not only for the young men in our community, but just the whole community, um, you know, and even some some of the players in other programs. Um, you know, the bottom line it is about you know just giving something back to a community that has given me so much, and you know now I have an opportunity to help the women's program um, advance and hopefully do some big things down the line. We're talking with uh, Jason Lance here on 97.3 ESPN Radio, South Jersey Sports Report. Uh, coach Lance is the, the new coach of the Atlantic City Girls High School Basketball Program. Uh, coach, what, you're, now you're in a, a former player there, right, from Atlantic City High School, nine, 1995, I think, graduated? Correct. Uh, what, what do you remember about those days as a high school player, and how do you, how do you relate those experiences you had uh, to kids in this day and age? Uh, one thing I share is four years seems like a long time, but it, <laughs> it goes by so quickly, you know. And, you know, to to tell a young person that, look, you know, you need to work and dedicate yourself to something that you want to do, you know, and a lot of them, you know, they want to earn a scholarship. <clears throat> um, and they don't realize how much work it takes fleet, and to balance your academics. And then, after you finish academics, to spend time every day working on your craft and getting better. Um, so, you know, I spent a lot of time um, always trying to explain, and even in my experience, and I had a great experience, um, you know, it goes by quickly, and you just have to work really hard <clears throat> and uh, enjoy every moment. Yeah, definitely. What do you think is going to be the biggest challenge uh, working with high school girls as opposed to high school boys? You know, you have a lot of experience working with the boys' team, what do you see as the biggest challenge working with the girls' team? Um, I kind of look at it differently. I, I look at them as basketball players instead of, you know, being boys versus girls. Um, you know, my biggest challenge is obviously just um, kind of changing the culture because, uh, you know, I'm, I'm more defense-oriented, um, you know, and – it's going to take a little time for the ladies to get used to the intensity of practice in terms of defense. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I just think it's just uh, changing the culture. And I thought Coach Ford did an excellent job. Um, but, you know, just changing what we're going to do as a program. We're talking with uh, Jason Lance here, new girls basketball coach over Atlantic City. Uh, coach, do you feel like there's any pressure on you to, to follow up Coach Ford? I mean, he had, you know, he had 72, 72 wins the last five years. They went 16-4 and four last year, uh, playoff contender. Uh, where, where do you see yourself and your goals for the first year uh, that you coach this, this coming winter? Well, like you said, Coach Ford did an excellent job. Um, and I have inherited a, a strong group of seniors uh, it's about six or seven of them. Um, you know, hopefully we can put it all together and make a strong run. Um, but my, my bigger goal um, is to the younger ladies. Um, and hopefully they'll advance enough this year so that next year uh, we are also will be able to continue what we're doing this year. 
Mm-hmm. Do you, do you have anything planned, you know, from now until uh, preseason starts around the Thanksgiving time? Uh, anything planned, you know, to get your your name out there in the community in terms of girls basketball and and try to introduce yourself to some of these younger kids, you know, the seventh and eighth graders, and and really get them fired up about where this program's heading. Well, luckily, um, I I also work in Atlantic City's recreation, um, so I know a lot of the young ladies. And a lot of them also play in the summer league that we have in Atlantic City. So I have gotten an opportunity to know a lot of them, not all of them. Um, you know, and next year when I have the time to do it, I'm going to visit all of the elementary schools and introduce myself so mm-hmm. that the young ladies that I haven't had an opportunity to meet, um, I can. So I'll be in Margate, I'll be in Vic, I'll be in Atlantic City, and I'll be in Brigantine. Um, making sure that they all know that I am the coach and excited to potentially coach them down down the line. Right. We're talking with uh, new Atlantic City girls basketball coach Jason Lance. Uh, coach, what, what would you say if you had to characterize your style? I, I know you talked a little bit about the defense. Uh, what are some of your philosophies in terms of just the X's and O's of basketball? How do you want to play basketball at Atlantic City High? Uh, I like to speed the game up. You know, um, just to use defense to create offense. Um, you know, if you can pressure another team enough to speed the game up, they'll turn the ball over enough, which will give you easy opportunities on offense. Um, this is pretty much the way I've been successful over the past few years. Um, Coach Allen also is similar. So, I'm going to stick with that format. Uh, we're, we're talking with Jason Lance, new head coach of Atlantic City High School girls basketball. Uh, coach, real quick, before we let you go, uh, what? how much did you learn uh, from Coach Allen? I mean, he's such a passionate guy. He gets so into it. Uh, really, you know, you can see the level of care he has for those boys at Atlantic City High School. Um, is, is it hard not Absolutely. to not to try to be like him and be your own person? You know, how, how does that work where you – you want to take the best qualities of him, but also remain true to yourself, right? Well, you know, it's funny you say that, and I laugh because my first year uh, as a freshman coach, I, I caught myself trying to be Coach Allen. <laughs> and uh, obviously I'm not. I'm my own person. And over the years, we've just developed such a great relationship where, you know, he has – he has his intensity and his style of coaching, and I have my intensity and my style of coaching. And together, you know, we got it done. Um, you know, and at this point, I, I think I'm uh, strong enough to know who I am and, you know, stay true to myself. But, you know, we both do believe in the defense. Defense wins championships. Defense travels. Mm-hmm. So, <clears throat> you know, when it all breaks down, we both had the same mindset of, you know, teaching players how to play defense, how to stay intense, you know, how to stay focused, play together, and leaving everything you have on the court and let the chips fall where they may. you got to be pretty excited about this opportunity. I mean, you, you probably can't wait for Thanksgiving to come to get started with these girls. Uh, what's your level of excitement right now to, to get started and, and really get, get started on your career as a head coach? Uh, <laughs> I, I am excited. Yeah, I, I appreciate so many people in the community have come and uh, just reached out and, and offered, you know, how excited they are for me. And, you know, I just don't want to let anybody down. So I'm going to work my butt off, <laughs> um, give everything I have, you know, make sure that, um, you know, all, all my ladies are, are academically on point, athletically on point, they play for each other. And, you know, like I said, if I can do that and, if I could do half of what Coach Allen has done, I- I'd be extremely successful. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. All right, Coach Lance, thanks for taking a few minutes with us this morning, and uh, good luck with the upcoming season. Appreciate it. No problem. Could I uh, actually just share one thing? Sure, yeah, go ahead. If you are in the Lang City, yeah, if you're in the Lang City community this upcoming Monday, uh, we have our City Recreation Championship things and award ceremony. Uh, it's at MLK Complex in Atlantic City. The junior championship game is at 5.15 p.m. Our award ceremony is 6.15 p.m. And our senior championship, which features uh, Amar Thomas of Atlantic City 
on one team versus Ajon Centina um, of Atlantic City on another team. That'll be at 7.15 p.m., and we'd love to have everybody come out and enjoy the, the games. Nice. Outstanding. We'll, we'll get the word out there, and hopefully everybody shows up. Appreciate it, Coach. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, have a good day. All right. You too. That was Coach Lance, the new uh, girls basketball coach over there at Atlantic City.